Hey, this is John from St. Petersburg, Florida, and you're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs on YouTube. Good morning, everybody. We're here in Medicine Hat, Alberta. Just walking in for our morning coffee. Get on the highway and we're gonna book it home. Should be home late tonight. Welcome, drivers. Well, thank you. I feel very welcomed. I'll feel even more welcomed when they have coffee ready. smell it already oh my old friend it's actually my new friend we're best friends hey you did this to me before already give me my coffee hey hey Why is it not working? Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. I will fight you. What? Does it not know there's a cup there? Is there a sensor or something? What's going on? Oh, there. Wait, wait, wait. Are we in large? It's working now. Okay. Large. Colombian. No room for cream. Even though I put cream in there, if you, if you tell it to leave room for cream, it leaves, like, that much room. So just say no room for cream, and you'll still have room for cream. I put the cream in first, but I don't have to mix it. Oh, there comes the goodness. Oh, yeah. Come on. It's brewing. It's working its magic. Oh. How's my beard? I'm getting to that length where I wake up and it's all like and it grows like this. I'm gonna get myself a beard straightener though very soon. And every morning I can straighten it and make it magnificent. So uh, good morning, yes we are on our way to home. Let's start this girl up, come on girl. Come on, I know you want to, I know you wanna wake up. We're going home today. We're going home today. Come on, Volvo, you big old minivan, you. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, I knew you loved me. I knew it. I love you too, girl. Wish you were a Kenworth, though. So, I told you yesterday, oh, it's bright out here. What's rattling? Hi. None of that stuff. So, I told you yesterday that we had some news today, right? I'm excited to tell you. I'm excited. I don't want to get you too excited. It's not the news that you're waiting for, okay? But it's it's good news on the way to the news that you're waiting for. Let's get out of the sun. I'm blinding. I'm, I'm, I'm being blinding. It's blinding out here, Chevy. It's blinding. What? I'm a weird guy. You'll get used to it. Diesel's used to my weirdness already. You're still a little cautious about it. I didn't know my dad was so weird. Ugh. Should have asked your brother. Diesel would have told you. I'm a weird dude. I'm a very weird dude. I'm proud of it. Yep. Oh, there's hairs on my camera. What do you know? <sighs> Is that a good luck? Okay, enough. I want to go home. Let's get on the road. Then we'll talk. All right, all right. We have officially, officially began, begun, began, begun our day. Once the wheels start turning, you can't take that back. 
Oh, the e-log. It knows you're moving. It's like Santa. It knows what you're doing all the time. It sees you when you're sleeping. It knows when you're awake. It just doesn't know if you've been bad or good, but you should still be good. For goodness sake. I'm still in Christmas mode. It's January. I need to... I need to calm down. How many days till Christmas? Chevy. 350 what? <laughs> well. Here we go. Chevy. Our last day before we go home. Are you excited? I'm excited. I'm excited to share with you guys the news. All right, and I already told you it's not the news. She's not pregnant yet, okay? So it's not the news, that's the news. It's not that, but it's related to that. We have gone through uh, fertility treatments and you know, we're, we've had many appointments already with the fertility doctors and we've been on a journey towards having a baby, my wife and I, Britt and I. And uh, we've, we've gotten to the point where on Monday, today is Saturday, so the day after tomorrow, we go in for IUI, which I'm not too sure what that stands for, but that's the whole process of what I explained to you before, where they, they take my guys and they drop them off at the finish line. They give them an elevator ride so they don't have to take the stairs. Because apparently they're, they're not very fast at taking the stairs, but there's lots of them, so all they need is a little bit of help. And just need an elevator ride, I don't know. So uh, that's happening Monday morning. And uh, with the fertility uh, prescriptions that my wife Britt is on, it makes her extremely, extremely fertile. And the chances and likelihoods of multiples are very, very high. So uh, with the doctor's help this month, on Monday, we're going in for the procedure. There's a very, very, very good chance that she could conceive this month and get pregnant. And there's a very good chance that it could be multiples. So we're both very excited. Britt called me today all smiles and jumping around. We're all we're both very excited. And uh, I've got a really good feeling about it. It's been a long journey already. We've been, uh, we got married in 2017. It's 2020 now and we've been trying to have our first child ever since we got married. And uh, Monday might be the day. So by the time you watch it, uh, it'll already be done. So I appreciate the thoughts and prayers that I'm sure you guys will send. But if you do want to send thoughts and prayers, maybe send them that uh, the conception will work. Because we still won't know by the time you watch this. The procedure will be done, but we still won't know if she's actually pregnant for a while yet. And we wouldn't be announcing it for a few months. So those of you that have been following us for any length of time, you'll know that uh, uh, Britt, well, we did get pregnant once, a little over a year ago. And uh, it, it was a miscarriage. And it was pretty devastating. Uh, Britt took it really hard. I took it really hard. It, it's something that affects the woman a lot more because it's her body, right? We'll get back to talking about trucking in a second. Don't worry, guys. I don't want to lose you. But uh, we're really hoping that this will be a healthy baby. So we will know next month if she's pregnant or not, but we're not going to announce it or anything for quite a while, for a few months. So you're going to have to be observant and maybe check for that little twinkle in my eye or something. And you can play the game. Are they pregnant? Are they not? I don't know. But uh, if you do want to send thoughts and prayers, we would really appreciate it that this month would be the month that we conceive and uh, have a, that we have a healthy pregnancy and a healthy baby, even if it's multiples. We don't care if it's a boy or a girl. We just want a healthy baby. So exciting times. Monday's the day. I'll vlog about it, so you can look forward to that vlog uh, either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. It'd be great if we could 
get this sun out of our face. It's getting higher in the sky though. Look at that. The time here is now 10 a.m. It's not too bad. We're, we were facing pretty much directly south there. So we're going to head east here. So you can tell that the sun is still well in the southern hemisphere here in Canada. Australia, you're hogging all the sun. From what I can see, you guys don't even need the sun. If you could send it back, that'd be great. We miss it up here, it's cold. But the sun is getting closer and closer to the center of the sky. I mean, it's still way over there. But in summertime, it'll rise off to our left. In wintertime, it'll rise off to our right. I explain this to you guys all the time, I know, but it's, it's fascinating to me, I don't know. It's super cool. I couldn't imagine living on the equator and like never having seasons. It'd be a little, pretty boring. Summer wouldn't be as special. I'd never get to experience winter, which would be totally fine, but you'd never get snow. And snow is, I like snow when it's not on the road. So we have 1,059 kilometers to work and then I gotta go home after that. We'll be home probably around midnight. I wanted to be home earlier than that, but uh, somebody had to take a couple of bathroom breaks in the middle of the night. Somebody who's very fluffy and handsome. I don't know, he's not used to the truck, so he's not used to the schedule that Diesel is, so he woke me up a couple of times. Uh, needed to go, uh, needed to go do some business. That's okay, we just slept a little longer. I'm feeling great now. Got my coffee. Had a smoothie for breakfast. It's gonna be pretty much a straight shot drive. We don't need to stop for a half hour break because we're in Canada, that's an American law. They like to tell you that you need to take a 30 minute break sometime in your day. Canada's just like, yeah, we trust you. Just stop when you need to stop, eh? Just don't overdo it, okay? All right, so I'll stop. I just don't need to take a 30 minute break. Maybe I'll take a 15 minute break. That's all I need, I need a little coffee break. You know, don't need a 30 minute break. That's a waste of a 30 minutes. So we don't have to deal with that today. So it'll be a, pretty much a straight shot there, about 10 hours of driving, highway speed. There's not much in, in the way because we're just driving across the prairie. So about 10, 10 and a half hours of just driving, plus bathroom breaks and we'll have to stop to fuel. I'm hoping I can make it all the way to Headingley in Winnipeg and fuel there. So it's 10 a.m. here now in Mountain Time. I live in Central Time, so it's 11 a.m. there. So I'll be back at the yard 10, 10.30. Ah, boy. Yeah, it'll probably be around midnight when I get home. Oh, we've been making really good time. We're here just arriving in Moose Jaw in Saskatchewan. Slow down to 60 kilometers an hour when passing police. Somebody's getting a spanking. He's been a very bad boy. Oh, I would think that he'd get a ticket up here instead. He must have just been flying into town. Because the speed limit right here at this exit goes down to 80 kilometers an hour. Oh, there's another cop off on the right over there on that exit lane. Interesting. Usually people get speeding tickets in here. Just off to the right, you'll see this little barri barrier here. That little box on the end of it, that's a speed camera. If you're doing more than 80 kilometers an hour, 50 miles an hour through here, you get a big fine. And that's usually where they catch the most amount of people because they'll come in here barreling in at highway speed of like 110 kilometers an hour, 70 miles an hour. I'll give you one guess where we are. I'll give you a hint. It rhymes with baloney. Balgoni. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. Is it Balgoni? I'm gonna keep calling it Balgoni because that's what I've always called it. We need one of their uh, fresh ground bean coffees. I'm not gonna fuel up here yet though. I wanna fuel up in Headingley so that I have full tanks to park this truck for a day or two. Continue on this road for six kilometers. So I'll be getting home tonight, which is Saturday night when I'm filming this. Uh, home for tomorrow, Sunday, and then Monday is when we go in for our procedure. So 
so I'll probably leave with my load Monday night. I'll be reset then, and we can deliver this in Iowa on Wednesday morning. It's just over a day's drive, so I'll drive all day Tuesday and a little bit of Monday, and I'll be there first thing Wednesday morning, and then I can rock and roll, get a reload, and be on my way. So how's your guys' 2020 shaping up so far? I think it's going to be a good year. I don't know. It's going to be a good decade. I have a good feeling about this IUI procedure that's going on. I have a good feeling about it. I think that it's going to take. So 2020 could bring us a baby. Well, I was going to park in front of the pumps, but it looks like everybody else is already parked in front of the pumps. So I'm going to back into a parking spot instead of blocking a pump. How's that sound? This is a 26 foot leash. That's as far as it goes. The longest one I could find on Amazon. It's called a Flexi Giant L. It's 8 meters. I think that's 26 feet, right? Made in Germany. Das Gutia. So I trust Chevy to not be on the leash here, but I don't trust all these drivers around here not to run them over. So for his own safety, eight meters is quite a bit though. Eh? He's got a lot of freedom to run around. At least this way, if you know, he runs out in front of a truck or something crazy like that, I can go into dad mode and go, oh, whoa, and pull him back, right? What do you smell there, bud? What do you smell? Anything interesting? Anything interesting? Somebody else was here. Somebody else. I'm going to let them know I was here, too. Good boy, Chef. Good boy. Alrighty. All is right in the world. We have our coffee numero due today. Let us get out of here. I'll thread the needle between the pumps here. because there's someone trying to park over there to our right. So we'll go this way to avoid that mess. Slowly, just in case if somebody's walking across here. Careful. Okay. Let's get back on the road. So it's about six hours uh, to work from here or to where I'm going to drop the trailer. And we'll go home from there. It looks like I'll probably be home around midnight. That's what I'm thinking. Just enough time to pretty much shower and go straight to bed. Not sure what time Britt got up this morning. Uh, so I'm guessing she probably got up. Well, I think she was up earlier than me. So she'll probably be tired and sleeping by that time. Hopefully I don't wake her up too much. Hopefully she'll still be awake because I hate getting home after she goes to bed because when I get home all the dogs go nuts and I know Diesel. Diesel hasn't seen me in a week so he's going to lose his mind and then if she's already sleeping that means she's wide awake. It is not possible for me to sneak into the house which is a good thing because they hear every little thing. One footstep on the porch and they're on guard. Turn right on Highway 46. But we don't discourage that. That's a good thing. We want them to be alert and aware of anyone, even if it is just me. Well, for the first time ever for me, my fuel light just came on. Proceed to the highlighted route. <laughs> no, Karen. I think we're going to need to put some fuel in this thing. My fuel light came on. Never. At least I know it works. I never let it get this low. I still got an eighth of a tank, but... Thanks. Glad we're here. We made it. <laughs> gonna fuel up. We're in Winnipeg, by the way, and uh, gonna fuel up, drop the trailer off, and go home. So, for those of you that are wondering, how much does it cost to fill that thing up when the low fuel light was on? Well, it took 720 liters. It cost me 935 dollars and 31 cents. Happy New Year.